It's always quiet. When I wake for work, it feels like I'm the only person in the world. Get dressed and wander through the empty streets to the square, ready to start the workday. The city almost feels like it's all mine, and in the early hours, each and every day I work. It's by no means a glamorous job, but I like it. It not only pays the rent, but I also enjoy it. I'm not a people person, so working on my own, sort of as my own boss, at my own pace, is perfect for me. And in my own way, I'm helping to keep Krakow clean and tidy while getting to spend a few hours every day near enough alone in a truly beautiful city. And it is a beautiful city. It's a very religious city. It's known as the city of churches and you can see why. The job's relatively easy. Krakow is a fairly clean city. It's manageable, but that's changing slowly, but surely. There's more and more litter. But Krakow is a wonderful city, blighted by a plague. A plague of tourists. Thirty million people a year and counting come to Krakow. It used to be okay. Most tourists visited for the buildings and religious history of Krakow and thus were respectful. Krakow has long been defined by religion and its relationship with the church. While it could be argued that the church has become unprogressive and allowing religion and politics to become too intertwined, Catholicism is still a major way of life. Only 9% of Poles are Catholic. Polish identity is intertwined with religion after all, the country was pretty much founded on religion. I'm not religious myself, I'm part of the younger generation of Poles turning away from religion. My parents don't know this, it's just easier, but I can see the appeal, the order and comfort it can provide to oneself. Although I also see the many problems religion causes and I cannot overlook this. More people have been killed in the name of God than for any other reason, and religious extremism continues to rage. Increasingly, a wider range of tourists are coming to Krakow, those with no concern for the city's heritage, those solely here to have a good time. Nothing wrong with that. The issue is these are the people who litter, for they are disrespectful of Krakow's heritage. They treat the buildings and churches with disdain. I can understand the need to go out, party, have a good time, but there is no excuse for being disrespectful to others. But I'm conflicted. Tourism does have its upside. I'm effectively part of the 38,000 people employed by the tourism industry. It's a paradox. They are making my job considerably harder, yet if it wasn't for them, the city would not need to employ me. After work finishes, I go into various churches. I don't know why. I suppose I do find them all inspiring the thought that these such intricate buildings were built centuries ago with none of our current technology. This is St Andrew's Church. It's nearly a thousand years old and possibly my favourite. Not all tourists are bad. On the board it said how areas of the church roof are in a state of disrepair. They're raising money. Apparently tourism significantly helped finance the repair of part of the roof a few years ago. It's clear tourism could be a force for good. I've seen the best and worst of tourism. And before now, I have let the actions of a few cloud my judgement. Education is the key. The key to getting tourists to respect and help preserve Krakow as the beautiful city it is. Remember all the rubbish I've picked up over the years, and I smile for I think how I can now help reduce this blight in the future. There will always be tourists who litter, however I know that I can help reduce the waste through making tourists appreciate Krakow even more, and open their eyes to what I see. Just how beautiful Krakow is and how it needs to be protected.